Hey guys, welcome to your weekly overview. Um, what did I want to say? Yes, so if you guys want to participate, I'm giving away three tarot decks. They're brand new. So if you want to participate in that, check out the link in the description box. I've also announced the date for live, live, free, free live readings. Oh my God, my free live readings. So if you want to be part of that as well, check out the video in the description box. Okay, now let's go. Let's see what's going on for the week. What are the energies coming in? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Two of Cups, Five of Swords, Four of Swords, King of Cups. This one wanted to. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here like as a theme of the week. Ace of Pentacles is the theme of the week, okay? It wanted to pop out so bad, I had to put it out there. Let me just see. Okay, spiritual, spiritual changes are happening, mental changes are happening. I'm seeing here that a lot of you need to let go of something so that you can gain your stability with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, so we have the Five of Swords with the High, high Priest, Hierophant. You know, this is the thing. Somebody's tired of fighting, somebody's tired of continuously looking back, continuously going back to the same thing, all right? Both emotionally and mentally, I'm feeling drainage. And I'm feeling a need to connect with yourself more, gain a higher level of consciousness, you know. Spirituality, you know, it doesn't mean that you need to go to church. It doesn't mean that you have to, you know, have a mandala tattoo on your arm, oh, I'm so spiritual, no. You need to connect with yourself more. So take a walk on your own, no music, you know, no, no electronics, you know, spend time in the nature with yourself. You know, contemplate on things, figure out what is this five of swords. Because I'm feeling here, for many of you, yes, this is a relationship that is so draining, a soulmate, twin flame, whatever you call it, connection here. Where somebody is emotionally restrictive, somebody is unwilling to cooperate on the connection. Someone here just doesn't feel like they're getting anything from it. And we have two fives. Fives are about, you know, for me, fives are like a breaking period, breaking point, you know, when you like switch from being tired to walking away. You know, they're looking at different directions here, okay? The, the This one is looking towards the past and it's tired of the past, but the Hierophant is staring at the future. Future. He's, he's okay by not looking back because spiritually you've evolved enough to realize that this, this emotional closeness, this isolation, emotional isolation in the partnership or in the connection is not what you need. And exhaustion happens when you waste too much of your energy on someone who doesn't deserve it anymore. You know, I'm not saying that they, somebody cheated, somebody did something horrible. No, I'm just saying like, you're tired of a certain type of connection. And I do feel like these connections for some of you keep coming back around with different people. And that's why I told you, you need to connect with yourself more because I do feel like a lot of you still don't know what you truly want when it comes to relationships. Answer, answers like, I want love and I want um, true love and peace. No, mm -mm. you need to be very specific what you want emotionally, materially and mentally, you know, you can want love, you're going to get love, but then what, what if the guy is a manipulator? but they still truly love you and care for you. You know, it, it's very tricky concept here. And I, that's why I'm telling you, that's why I'm telling you to be as specific as possible. Because changes are gonna come in. You're gonna get this gift from the universe with the Hierophant here. You have Mercury here. Groundedness is also important, you know? And then we have the Four of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Oof. All right? You need to take a rest and decide, you know, here, you see, he's holding the sword. He knows the truth. He knows the drill. He knows that the person from the past is toxic. Snake is also a symbol of transformation, I think. You know, 
she, she continuously changes the skin, but it's still a snake. And you know this, but snake can also be a good thing, meaning the skin represents your old spirit. It's still you. It's just a different spirit. It's just a different approach, mental, as well as intuitive approach. Okay, things are changing. You're taking actions into your own hands to re release this energy of feeling tired, feeling like drained, you know, it, because it's just not working anymore. And with the seven of swords, you know, there's this red ghost that I call it, you know, you know, for, for me, the redness is about passion. It's about, you know, it's about intuition. It's a, it, it's like the wand suit, basically, you know, you need to follow your gut more and the two of swords that you leave behind, it's like making your peace with it, all right? Making the decision that something is over, the five of swords are here, and here he's carrying the five of swords. So, you know, you're carrying this defeat with you as a lesson of what you don't want. And it helps you grow and evolve spiritually. It helps you raise your spirit here. Because at the end of the tunnel, you know that the Ace of Pentacles is waiting. We have the hangman here and the magician exactly exactly the relation the connection the job whatever this is for you right something is blocking you from further movement it's blocking you from expressing you see the the hangman is dressed up as i call him the the how do you call this the, the you know the the just is a jester the jester you know an artist for me, the hangman is, is a hidden artist, right? It's blocking your creativity, it's blocking your manifestations, it's blocking your blossoming, basically. And I do feel like maybe this has been going on in the past year or past 12 weeks, I don't know. But this is something that you know now that you reflected on and it's time to let it go, it's time to move on from it. Because there's just, you know, it's just not there anymore to serve you. And with the magician, two major arcanas here, three already actually. Uh, we have the magician. I love the magician here. Now we're in a Taurus season. So with the sun in Taurus, you know, it's like enjoying to, to enjoying, learning to enjoy finer and nicer things in life. Also, not taking bullshit is, is kind of like what I'm picking up. I, I, I'm not an astrologer, but I do know, you know, I know Taurus is nature. My brother is a Taurus, true Taurus, all right? Um, and this is the thing, you're becoming self-aware. This Hierophant that I was talking about, it's going to manifest for many of you. You're going to be changing this perception of yours. Because the magician is aware of the abilities and there's no frame in a picture that can, you know, that can stop him. Because it's just like, you know, Seven of Swords is not an nasty card here. Never is, never will be. This is staying true to yourself with the dog here. You're staying faithful to yourself, to your higher guidance, to what you fought for. Your spirit may, you know, you, you may try to go back to the past and fix it. But I do feel like whatever you do this week regarding going back, it's going to always be the same. You know, it's going to be the same outcome. And then have, have the ace. This ace of pentacles is going to manifest for those of you who want it, who are looking for it right now. Maybe not right away, but it's going to, you know, like... Let me think of a word. I'm, I'm drinking grapefruit um, water. It's so nasty. But it's healthy, so we gotta do it. Gots to do what we got to do. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands here. There's a thing, you came to the boiling point, you came to the culmination of blockages, the culmination of not being able to move forward, the culmination of I can't be a victim of this anymore, I can't stay in this anymore, I need movement, I need progress. 
a lot of mental slash it's like you know heart and the mind are struggling here to let something go that's 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 what i'm getting The thing is that you need to know that for some of you, you know, this, this, this whole, if this is love, okay, this, this past thing, this thing that you're holding on to still, it's not serving you anymore and you need to open your eyes to it, all right? If, if the person is constantly fleeing and running away from you whenever you get close, it means it's a red flag, it means, you know, go, go, go. It means leave them, okay? It means that you can't stay where you are anymore. You need to start manifesting your own happiness. You need to take action for yourself because you're gonna go crazy. I'm serious. You are gonna go crazy and I'm not even even like joking about this. It's like imprisonment of your own making, you know? Nobody's, nobody's forcing you into anything. You're there voluntarily and you're closing off emotionally to something that might be more for you. Because you have an idea in your head that someone is your soulmate or you have an idea that this job is for you when in reality it's doing you more harm than good. You know, it's like anger and frustration and it's just like, oh, I can't. That's what I'm getting. You really need to you really need to dedicate to yourself this week, okay? Really, really find your strengths, your weaknesses, be honest with yourself, and don't let the past define what you're doing, you know, with your future. Uh, I want to introduce a new weekly thing, and uh, it's going to be a, an oracle reading. But hang on, I need to find the cards, so I'll be right back. Okay. Da, 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 da. So, I'm gonna pull one of. I have three oracle cards. Well, three oracle cards. Three oracle types. And I'm gonna be using all three of them now. Why? Because I can. Alright? I'm gonna see. Let's see. Let's see here. No books, nothing. Except maybe for the journey of love, maybe. Okay, so let's pull out one card for from each oracle deck. Let me know if you guys like this, actually, because I don't know if you're really into oracles or whatever. I'm, I really started, like, digging oracles recently. Okay, we have the swan. Yeah, this is the expansion of talents. With love. Worth waiting for. And the most basic oracle deck I've ever seen. I'm joking. It's really nice, actually. Like, I like the graphics. Oh, wow, 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 okay, okay, okay. So we got the first oracle is the swan. I'm going to read it, but I know what this is. Yeah, okay. This oracle reaches to you now, indicating that you are held within the grace of a great soul, a teacher of the heart, of the spirit, and there is endless light bestowed upon you for protection. Your path ahead is assured. Soon you will be shifting from hope to a sense of inevitability in your attainment of the spiritual goals closest to your hearts. Be with your practice of love. Through meditation, yoga, kindness, nature, dance, singing, whatever speaks to your heart, and you know that you are the one with the divine, and it's only a matter of time before you realize it. By the way, I'm going to read this brief poem. To love from afar, all we share are dreams of what will unfold. Pretty cute. So that was the oracle, okay? I mean, the thing is that I can interpret it my way, but these words are so nice. It's like, it's so nicely written. I don't want to mess it up by saying, you know, like release the bullshit, do your own shit. <laughs> and then we have for love, worth waiting for. I told you stability is at the end of the tunnel here. 
divine timing is at work in your love life yeah that's what i'm picking up on you know like the more you grow the more you expand yourself from whatever you were unhappy about whatever this this seven of swords the five of swords was taking a break enjoying yourself you call in the energy that is in resonance with you when it comes to love with worth waiting for a card it took a long time half of a lifetime a lifetime i don't care it took a long time but it got there because you deserve your right to have this you fought for this through a whole lot of karmic connections through a whole lot of whatever it was okay something peaceful is coming maybe you want peace actually maybe you don't want another person maybe you just want to heal maybe you just want to grow from situations you know evolve leave something behind and then the overall most basic message <laughs> the hope hope is conduit for miracles that's the thing you know like don't lose your spirit because things are not manifesting right away and don't lose your spirit if you know you're still struggling with leaving it behind and don't lose your hope thinking nobody else is going to make you as happy as that person did because i don't feel like they've ever made you that happy really when you're in the state of mind that you need to where when you're in the state of mind that you need to take a break from everything you know like really reevaluate if they've ever made you truly happy because of what you think that happiness is i feel like it's something completely different than what you experienced anyway Many of us, you know, I've been there, don't worry. I'm a mortal and also, trust me, I've had my fair share of fucked up connections. But, you know, just, just take it easy this week. Take it easy to rest. Take it easy to, you know, like... Don't judge yourself too much. Don't block yourself too much. Enjoy these new experiences with the swan. You know, this is kind of like discovering what's up there in the void. The void that you thought was empty is actually full of surprises. That's the swan. You know, swan. Swan is beautiful. It's gracious. There is something there that is amazing and that is waiting for you out there. You need to be patient and you need to allow yourself to leave and heal and, you know, evolve before this new thing manifests all right so oof, 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 okay i think it's time to end this um so thank you guys so much for watching and see you next week bye